In this video, we will look at a couple of examples that will let us practice finding the distance between two points using the distance formula. So first, let's look at this example A. It says find the distance between 4, negative 2 and negative 10, 3. So let's practice using the distance formula to find this distance. The distance formula is the square root of the difference of the two x-coordinates squared plus the difference of the two y-coordinates squared. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. You basically need to figure out two different numbers. You need to figure out the difference of the x-coordinates, which you can get by just looking at the two x-coordinates and subtracting them. So x2 minus x1 is just 4 minus negative 10, which is 14. Next, we just need to figure out delta y, or our y2 minus y1. It really is just delta y. And to do that, look at the two y-coordinates. So y2 minus y1 is the difference between those two numbers, so negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 5. And once you know those two numbers, it's not too hard to finish off and find your answer. You just plug them in. The distance is the square root x2 minus x1 is now 14, and we square that, plus y2 minus y1, which is negative 5 squared. Now, to keep simplifying, you square both of these numbers and add them up, and you should get 221. So that means that the distance between those two points equals the square root of 221, which happens to be approximately 14.9 units. Now we're going to look at example C, which says determine the shortest distance between the point 1, 5 and the line y equals 1 third x minus 2. So let's start by putting both of those points and lines onto the graph. So the point 1, 5, you go over 1, up 5, here we go, there's the point 1, 5. And for the line 1 third x minus 2, we start with our y-intercept of negative 2. The slope is 1 third, so I can go over 3 up 1 and get another point or 2. Connect to form my line. Now the shortest distance between a point and a line will be a perpendicular line through the point that hits the line. So what that means is we need to figure out what would a perpendicular line to this original line look like. Since this original line has a slope of one third, any line perpendicular to it has to have a slope of negative three because we take the opposite reciprocal and get negative three over one, which is negative three. So what I'm gonna do is start from this point here and make a line through this point with a slope of negative three. So that means from this point, I'll go down three over one down 3 over 1, and look at that, I hit the line that I was trying to find the distance to. So now, what we're really trying to do is find the length of this line segment. Okay. So to do that, again, you're just finding the distance between two points. We want to figure out the difference in the x-coordinates, which will be this length. So our x2 minus x1 is going to be 2. And we also want to figure out the difference between the y-coordinates, which will be our horizontal change here, which is 6. So y2 minus y1 equals 6. Now I can use the distance formula and plug those numbers in. So my x2 minus x1 is 2, so I'm going to do 2 squared plus 6 squared, and I can keep going to figure out my answer. I get the square root of 4 plus 36, which is the square root of 40. So the distance, the shortest distance between this point and this line is the square root of 40, and that's the distance of this shaded line right here.